tight-knit team here. Um, you know, from the start of it, from when it was just Dan and I in a, in a room in our house, in my house, to getting Jason on and bringing in people, I, I'd say we've got the best team of, of any startup. And coming in every day, the ideas that we all have and, and throw into the product and the ways we've pivoted internally to answer, you know, answer client calls or even just on features that we're releasing. It's just every day is a different uh, battle, but they're ones that we win and it, it keeps everything really exciting. And one of the one of the main reasons we we were um, we kind of got everything going and we went through financing and to get the, the product to the point where it is is just to say to anybody in Portland that it's possible. You know, there's only been a few really big wins here and a few really big companies, and we wanted to make sure that kind of other people know in you know, Silicon Valley and in Seattle and other places that it's possible here because the, the biggest thing that people don't understand is that there is probably more talent in Portland than anywhere else and they've moved here from those other places for a lifestyle but they still know and understand a startup. They still know and understand how to become part of the team to where you know, you're wearing 10 different hats and, and working 80 hours a week but because there's an end goal in mind and that's to build a very great and profitable company. And you know, it's right down from the vendors we select being in Portland to the some of our board members. Um, Dave Hirsch is a good example of that from Jive. You know, we're, we want to make sure that uh, we, we help you know, put Portland sort of more on the map or make the dot a little bigger you know, from what you know, Jive and Tripwire has done to the city, to Portland 10 and all the other organizations around it. Because it's a great city. We can you know, grow big companies here. Who inspires me? It's funny, we, we have an internal uh, inspiration project that we've been working on where sort of uh, everybody can kind of pick a you know, person or celebrity of, of who inspires them individually and then also kind of also ties into the company identity or uh, culture that we have. And it's it's been the, probably the longest ongoing internal uh, conversation because it's, it's pretty hard to nail down. Um, for me, my inspiration comes from uh, really my wife. You know, she is actually the reason this company exists. Um, she opened a store about three and a half years ago, and I was in between consulting for a couple different startups and trying to run another one, which uh, didn't work. <laughs> uh, but she was like, "Hey, you're not doing anything. I need a web store. You know, I don't want to hire another company, or I don't want to find some piece of software that I don't know how to use. I need something that's just easy." And so the first, you know, three months she's got the store together, I wrote the alpha version of what is now this company. And she continually helps me flush out ideas. She's got a different perspective on it of almost being, I mean, she's a fine person, you know. So from, from that point of view, I think uh, inspiration definitely comes from home. <laughs> on a professional level, there's uh, a lot of respect I have for some other um, founders of their own companies. Uh, Matt and Bill at Jive, uh, like kind of seeing how they've built their company um, with help from Dave. Uh, it's been nice. There's a lot of parallels between how Dan and I started this company to how they got Jive going. And I think on a, on a larger scale, there's you know some, some personal ones. <laughs>